Welcome to the ICT. The main goal of Fledget is to obtain DME from biomass derived in gas in a single step and to improve the efficiency of the process by sorption enhanced DME synthesis. Here at the ICP, our aim is to find catalytic formulations that can operate successfully in the reaction conditions of the sorption enhanced DME synthesis. For that, we have developed a series of copper zinc based catalysts for the synthesis of methanol from CO2 rich zinc gas and acid catalysts for the dehydration of methanol to DME. In addition of synthesizing the catalyst, we have characterized them by several techniques which are available at our institute with the aim to study the structure, composition, surface area, dispersion of the copper particles and the acidity of the catalyst. Finally, we evaluated the catalytic performance of those catalysts and catalyst mixtures in fixed bed reactors using CO2 reaching gas and studied and identified the more suitable conditions for the production of DME. When you are dealing with solid catalysts, the characterization of the surface is of paramount importance. This means the analysis of a few layers of atoms, a thickness of about one nanometer. The X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, XPS, is a powerful technique for fulfilling this objective. We can obtain the atomic surface composition of the catalyst, the chemical state, it means the oxidation state of the atom, or even in some cases, the chemical surrounding, the atomic surrounding of this atom. Extra diffraction is a characterization technique used for phase identification. We use this technique to determine the phases, the purity and the crystal structure of each phase presented in a catalyst. In the frame of uh, the European project FLED, we use this technique to determine the percentage of each phase and also the cell parameters and crystal structure and the crystal in domain size of each phase in the catalysts. Transmission electron microscopy is based on the interactions of an electron beam with the atoms presented in a sample. We use EM to see the size, morphology and also composition of the sample and to study the microstructure of the materials at atomic level through high resolution TAM and electron diffraction. Beyond this, we also come with a wide range of analysis techniques in the technical research support unit at ICP facilities commonly used in materials characterization, such as BAT surface area and pore size distribution, mercury intrusion pore symmetry, chemist sorption, and different spectroscopy techniques. We have prepared metal catalysts based on copper zinc oxide for the synthesis of methanol by coprecipitation at constant pH, and support to the teropolyacids by the incipient wetness deprenation technique for the dehydration of methanol reaction. Let's project aims to validate a bio-DME production process in industrially relevant environment. But before any process can reach this level of readiness, it must be studied at laboratory scale. These laboratory tests have taken place in the bunker, which is built to work safely at high pressure conditions. We have tested the catalyst for the methanol production reaction, the methanol dehydration and setness process from CO2 rich zinc gas in fixed bed reactors. The reactors are placed in a hot box in which we can control the flux of an inert gas, hydrogen and the mixture of reacting gases. This is hydrogen, CO and CO2 which are fed from top to bottom of the reactor. Methanol and water can also be fed by HPLC pumps. The temperature and pressure in the catalytic bed is also measured and controlled. The products are conducted to the analysis system in gas phase through heated conductions. We use gas chromatography to analyze the composition of the outlet stream of the reactors. This technique allows separating the different compounds of a mixture and we use the detectors installed in the chromatographs at the end of the columns to quantify the CO, CO2, methanol and DME in the samples. 
In the collected chromatograms, we observe separated peaks, which correspond to each compound, and the area under the curve of these peaks is representative of the concentration of the compound in the mixture. The grade of separation depends on the temperature of the columns, and when effective separation is not possible at room temperature, we can introduce liquid nitrogen to refrigerate the columns and improve the resolution of the peaks.